Wait a minute, we split! Oh thank god, another way! I thought I'm just g doing something wrong, but we're up on this bitch. Third route. Do we follow the same things that we did before or try other things? I don't know, let's see mirror. I wanted to try that before. Oh, it's reacting. <laughs> it can see the mirror avatar. That's pretty amazing. Um, what's so amazing about that? Usually, virtual objects like that mirror can only be seen through a gray eye. Oh, okay. It only exists for those with a gray eye. It doesn't objectively exist. Anima, however, can see it without the device. Huh. Then how... Hmm. Noah doll. Wait! Why would you give me to this thing? Are you crazy? Continue? It's just a doll modeled after you, Noah. It'll be okay. Oh? It looks pretty interested. Yeah. Uh, Great! <laughs> she ate her! Absolutely unforgivable! Looks like it still has its Meteora instincts. Good job, Chloe. I guess th we did some splits here. There are two routes from the same moment that we did here, so I think something's different? I don't know. It had some sort of humanity. Let's uh, keep quiet. Hmm. Ignore me, huh? Well, fine. I guess that shows me how rattled you are. There's some light there, but like it's so far away. I think it's another ending or something. It's hard to tell now <laughs> where I should go. We're back mm. with Ariadne book. We have to give her a Dahlia. That's for sure what's gonna happen, I think. What's that? That's new. The strawberries were r ripe. They're not now. Strawberries without color. How can I color them? Blue? Dahlias? Was this the right answer? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's behind it. <laughs> Thank you. It's got color. Maybe I should bring this over. I guess. <laughs> tush, tush, tush. No. Strawberries aren't this color. That's right. Coco talked about roses and strawberries. What the hell is this? I didn't even know strawberries had a special meaning behind them. Huh? What? I will make you happy. A happy family. Love and respect. Huh. I think the right answer is a family. Because she considers her a family. Is this the answer? Strawberry cake. Or maybe they're all the right answer. And she wanted to know my opinion. Coco would do that. Strawberries and roses are from the same family. Right. So why did strawberries abandon the thorns that would protect them? Chloe, do you know? Mm hmm. Perhaps the strawberries no longer found their thorns necessary. No longer necessary? Why? Oh, because strawberries don't I have thorns. I imagined myself thorns. as a strawberry. Maybe it's biology now. <laughs> Abandoning your method of self-defense would be highly illogical, which means the only possibility is that they gained a weapon more powerful than thorns. A weapon? Like? For example, a lethal poison. If that were true, we'd be dead from eating these strawberries. Oh, right. <laughs> you know, Chloe... I think the strawberries decided to stop having a weapon. 
They decided to lose their thorns because they no longer wanted to fight. But without thorns, the strawberries get gobbled up without a second thought. Yes, but they were happy to be eaten. More than the roses that prick <laughs> whoever touches them. I think strawberries chose a life where they bring happiness to people. Um... Huh, okay. Organisms act in self-preservation. That would be against their survival instincts. You're right. But I like that bittersweet kindness. Hmm. <laughs> delicious. But... I get sad sometimes. Sad? Strawberries threw away their thorns and invited anyone in. They changed themselves for others. The strawberries accepted others even when they were chewed up and swallowed. That is a way to relate with others, but it's so one-sided. I find it sad. I think that there are some things you can understand by sharing pain through thorns. If you were a rose, what would you do with your thorns, Chloe? I have never imagined such a situation. Who would? I think you should. People were all originally roses. Do you mean that as a metaphor? Yes. I'm talking about what's inside. Relationships are about how much pain, no, mm. how much sacrifice you'll allow to embrace and have your thorns pierce through each other or abandon your thorns and cater everything to the other person or to pretend not to see each other and distance yourselves. If you're ever troubled about connecting to others, you should mull it over strawberries. <laughs> These sweet and delicious little ones are sure to help you. A dream. That's right. Coco and I ate strawberries here. Why are the strawberries grown? Was it that dream? Huh? What do you want to do? I want to give her belongings again because of the dahlias or anything. But I'm gonna reject Sibi because I guess, I don't know, change of the storyline. Mm. Ugh, Chloe! Why are you always such a bad sport? Like, lighten up! What? Are you saying you're not curious? You don't want to find out its secrets? Of course I'm curious, but... Oh! So you'll do it, right? Give her these objects from Coco. Good luck! Mm, okay. I'll say this once, Chloe. I've already warned you about it. Don't blame me for what happens. So we're gonna give her anyways. That's, that's, okay. that's fine. By the way, have you seen Noah, Chloe? No, I... Yeah, she's probably just sulking somewhere because... Hmm. It's almost worrying not seeing her, since she's always by Chloe's side. Something's wrong with Noah, I keep telling it, something's up. It's strange though. Noah really reminds me of Coco. I mean, so does the Unique. The arc that cheers this city up with song is so much like Coco. The humanoid meteor yeah. too. She's not with us anymore, but it feels like we're always chasing after Coco. Like, who was she anyway? That's true. I think about that too sometimes. There was something special about Coco. Noah appeared two years ago, right yeah. after Coco died. And the Unique's the one who ate her. If Professor Julie is right, and if everything has meaning, then does that mean there's a reason behind their sudden appearance? If that's the case, there could be something we're missing about Coco's death. Hmm. There wasn't Patroclus then. Wow, they sure have a lot of free time to keep needlessly bringing about public unrest. Don't worry, it's just a recording, and the Argos are on it. Things should calm down. More important, we shouldn't draw too much attention to ourselves. It could really incite the people here. Good point. It'd be better if we weren't here. Let's go! Now we stay. Hold on. I want to hear what that masked guy is saying one more time. Why? It's dangerous to stay here. Something is bothering me. Yeah. What the fuck is Patroclus anyway? And just like, just overall. 
cut off in the bountiful surface, surrounded by hollow face and forced to live in poverty. It's, I mean, Noah is Patroclus, right? As though we were livestock. Yeah. That towering elevator pillar that leads to the top is what separates us from the surface. That is the tower that represents human arrogance. We will take control of it and head to the frontier. Overflowing water, trees, grass, and flowers. We shall feel the I see with our own hands. I think I was right all the along. So, what about it is bothering you? I don't know. Something about it bothers me. <laughs> I can't put it into words. That's surprising coming from you. It's really that unclear? Uh huh. I can tell Patroclus has you pretty anxious. Hey, Chloe, have you heard this before? Huh? They say Patroclus was formed over 10 years ago. It was originally a group of people who came together to make it out to the surface. They petitioned the government and made their voices heard through peaceful protests. They were apparently a comparatively docile group. But now, I can't see that they have a coherent ideology. Whenever they appear, they instigate fear with pointed speech, as if they enjoy watching a society crumble. It's like they delight in causing trouble. Right now, that masked person is leading Patroclus. But the government still hasn't been able to identify them after their sudden appearance. It was two years ago that masked person became the group's leader. That's right, after Coco died. <laughs> I know what Alba is trying to say. I had the same thought. It all happened two years ago. As if Coco's death had started something. Hmm. Something about what the masked person said reminded me of something Coco said before. But hearing it again makes me think I was wrong. That person's words and their way of thinking. Huh. I don't really get it. That guy doesn't seem to have any connection to Coco. Yes. So much has happened lately. I think we're all a bit on edge. We should get going. Shit. Ah, it's so close, I think. Yes, we can pick Dahlia. Okay. Mm. Did you find something good, Chloe? This is something Coco really treasured. Yes. No, not really. Wait, no? Okay, so strawberries then. <laughs> Coco. This time I'm gonna take... I don't think a wheelchair is gonna do anything. Maybe phony. Because phony is like this voice recording thing, right? Hearing augmentation device. Let's take hey. this. Did you find something good, Chloe? Let's go. What do you want to try first? I wanna try strawberries. Just gonna eat eat it, obviously, but I knew that wouldn't work. Wait. What a waste. Hey, can I have the leftovers if there are any? No, these are for research. Hmm. From this reaction, perhaps it doesn't know that strawberries are food. Hmm. No, she she took it. Okay. Wow, that's total deja vu. Yes, that was very similar to how Coco behaved. Oh. So, I guess I Let's try phony else. now. Oh, did you see that? It seems to know where to put the phony. Isn't it just copying us? As if it's a human itself. If that's the case, she mm. will be closer to human than Meteora. Playing at being human? Maybe it'll take after us and start talking soon. Well, hopefully. <laughs> well, well. What an interesting result. A split. Again. And this split, it was here. It's different pinpoints. Huh. Hey, Chloe. Alba? There's something I've been wondering a while. Is this new? What is it? You look so serious. The unique always has its eyes fixed on Chloe. At first, I thought the reason was that the Meteora was waiting to attack her. But I'm not so sure anymore. What would be the reason for a Meteora to target Chloe specifically? Maybe it just likes Chloe. 
Hey, would that be Coco's influence? Yeah. What are you talking about? That's not... No, Yamato has a point. There's something I've been wondering as well. When I was going through the data on the meteoras, there's something I noticed. The frequency of meteora sightings shot up suddenly, starting at a certain point in time. Certain point in uh. time? When? Two years ago, when Chloe started piloting her Machia and fighting on the surface. I wasn't sure if I should mention it, since it's just speculation, but the data would certainly support a theory that the meteoras are targeting Chloe. Mm. I just don't know the reason why. And even more so with Anima. Is she fixated on Chloe because that's her meteora instincts? Or is it because of Coco? Is Coco like steering meteoras or like sending here? Mm. It's all so fucking confusing. Chloe, what should we take? Dahlias, please. The Dahlia was yes, Coco's we can flower. now. Okay. Are you wondering if you should take it or not? I think the more important it was to Coco, the more impact it did have. But I won't force you. Yeah, I will. No. Let's yeah. take it. I wanna. Are we bringing wheelchair this time? Okay, let's take it, whatever. <laughs> I think it's silly to take it, but maybe. Chloe, did you decide what to take? Wait. Yeah. I mean, we ha I have a fucking petals, so I think this is the right direction then. Yes. Then let's get back to the lab. I think petals are because of the Dahlia. What? Chloe, what do you think about taking a book? Yes. Okay, we can bring one. It's just that I don't want it ripped. Coco cherished all the books here. How about we just read the book aloud instead? You used to do that all the time, didn't you? If you read the book aloud in the same way, we might be able to find something out. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the wonderful reading, Chloe. Hmm. Okay. Can I choose the book though? No, okay. What do you want to try first? Uh, Dahlia. It's getting close to it. It seems very interested. Anima won't eat it, right? I don't know. Coco cherished the Dahlia flower. If Anima has any humanity inside it... Ugh! Oh. Oh. Well, well. Has it never seen a flower before? Just as I thought. It doesn't have a shred of Coco in it. Wait a minute. It's a meteora without a human heart. Otherwise, it wouldn't tear up the dahlia like that. You're right. Coco would never uproot a flower like that. What need is there to study it anymore? Isn't this enough, Julie? No. How would it say either? It expressed interest in the flower. There could be residual memory. Maybe even traces of Coco. That's not possible. I'll be the one to decide that. You continue your investigation. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Shit, I thought that was the key. Don't tell me it's gonna Let's be a wheelchair. <laughs> Just that. Whoa! Can you guys believe it? It seems to know how to use a wheelchair on the first try. You sure it ain't a coincidence? I mean, I could probably figure it out too. No, if you think about it, it's a miracle Anima would sit in it properly like that. She shouldn't even know what a chair is. <laughs> She's rising. Yeah, possibilities high that Coco's memories are at work here. Huh? Hmm, okay. Oh, I almost forgot, Chloe. We brought Coco's book with us today. Which one is it? Do you want to try reading it? Um, okay. Which one? Daedalus's labyrinth runs deep. Daedalus? Those who wander in can never leave. We didn't have this one. So please, take this ball of thread with you. Ah, it's a tale about the Minotaur. I am sure this endless thread will help lead you back. 
Continue. Or Ariadne. Oh, whatever. No, Ariadne, actually. <laughs> Jesus. The princess Ariadne <laughs> handed the hero Theseus the ball of thread, praying for his return. Theseus wrapped the thread to the labyrinth door. He gripped the ball of thread as it slowly unraveled until he reached the deepest level where the Minotaur awaited. No, wait. Awaited. So Ariadne and Minotaur is the same tale? Okay, sure. Mm, can I see that book for a second? What? What are you doing? Oh, I thought this would be quicker. Julie, what did you do? Coco cherished that book, and you just... What are you doing? Aww, how boring. Uh. Huh? Chloe, isn't there something that can be more definite? I don't know. Uh, why are you so useless? Come on, use your brain. Uh. Ooh, I know. I've got it. <laughs> I'm such a genius. Huh? What did you find, Professor? Is there anything more connected to Coco than you? <laughs> She's gonna send me, Jesus. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <gasps> Professor, what are you doing? Damn it. I'm coming, Chloe. Don't, Yamato. Even if you go, how can I sit around when Chloe's in danger? Chloe, I'm opening the entrance door. Get out of there as soon as you can. Stop. Are you trying to get in the way of my experiment, Alba? I'm not letting you near this door switch. <laughs> Are you in your right mind, Professor? Damn it. Then I'll go open it directly. <sighs> oh, shit. <sighs> oh. Wait. No, I don't want to. See? Well, huh. well, it looks like it's holding back its urge to attack Chloe. Does it mean it's holding back its urges to attack with its human side? Or are Coco's memories blocking it? Hmm? Huh? Is that a potted plant? Ow. Oh. What? That's the one you uprooted and ruined. Wait. Ah, oh. <laughs> she put the flower back as she uh, how thought it's gonna grow normally. To fix it? Yeah. Oh, I thought you wanted to hurt me this whole time. This is my real body. I'm not a hologram. Your claws can reach me now. But you seem to be really struggling. Hmm. That won't get the Dahlia to bloom again. Let me see it. You can't have everything go your way by violently clawing your way through. If you want to make up with a friend, if you want people to understand you, you need to think of a way how to embrace and have your thorns pierce through each other or abandon your thorns. Mm. I still haven't found the right answer, but we can help each other find it together. Do you understand what I'm saying? Even if you don't, you can feel it, can't you? Let's plant a new one. I'll bring you your own Dahlia. Are you okay, Chloe? Jimado. I'm fine. We both are. 